time to rise and photosynthesize. It's really starting to look like a farm. Fun, fun, fun in the sun, 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 baby. Working in a lift. Forking and a lift, forking and a bending, forking and a lift. So much clay. So much clay. I don't know what to do with all this clay out here. I don't know. There's so much. It's another rainy, rainy day here. At Resilient Farms, um, we're just what are we doing? Kind of just sitting in the nursery, like enjoying the view. We don't really do this much. We haven't done this much. Just sit around and and be. And what are you doing? Yeah. I'm looking through the natural pests and disease control book, uh, Royal Institute. Yeah, we're reading up on pests and diseases because they're starting to be more prevalent out there. I'm just, I'm just looking through. Uh, yeah, and I've de definitely started to see more activity. Yeah, well, this is nature. It comes with a job. It does come with a job. So me and those deer are going to have it out. Look at the marigolds. They so pretty. Look at that there. Marigolds um, are not only very gorgeous flowers but they attract pollinators and deer don't like how they smell so I'm gonna go find the deer and where they live and just plant marigolds all in their home that'll teach them I will teach them to mess with Brazilian farms uh, yeah so everything's looking pretty good in here we, we this is our first kind of experience really by ourselves growing in a nursery on a scale like this and so far we're having some success which is pretty encouraging isn't it encouraging very much this wind is really blowing around my floppy hat uh so so deer fencing is our task today my task today um, Tried the fishing line thing, did not work. So, what we're doing now is uh, adding this poly mesh fencing. It's called um, a critter fence. And uh, our T posts that we purchased uh, were designed to be used for the fishing line, so we didn't get very tall T posts. So, I'm gonna have to maybe attach uh, maybe like PVC piping to that so that it, it extends all the way to the seven foot. Five inch height that this fence came in, uh, or figure something out, maybe a piece of wood, whatever. But uh, I'm not screwing around with these deer anymore. I mean business, right? I mean business. And these deer ain't getting nowhere near my veggies no more, huh? Huh? With this, with this fence. Come on. Hey, let me try to get past this fence. See what happens, huh? Sunday, 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 baby. I just got done work at like 2 a.m. last night. It is 7.30 in the morning. I am jacked up. Stoked to be here. And I didn't even have coffee yet. It's time to uh, see the greeting party. Yeah, what happened to the music? So what what did you find over here? I didn't find it. You found well, it. Well, I found it, but what what, what did we find? 
Oh yeah. my god, it looks like something out of an alien movie. This totally is a creepy. I'll see you, baby. I'll see you, baby. Eat my plans. Eat my plans. My goodness. Are those his shits down there? I don't know. Is that, or is that, I mean, he's been eating the whole, look, you can see him chewing. Dude, you can like, that thing is the grossest thing. Oh my God, it's so <laughs> creepy. It sucks. It sucks because like. Look, yeah, our, I mean, I would assume they're either gigantic shits from eating our entire pepper plant or they're babies. Like it's this larva, but it, do, it does look like poop. It sucks because like the butterflies are so great to have, but the caterpillars that make the butterflies are not. Look at like, it's so creepy. It's like alien. It's like it alien. is like alien. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I am actually opening up a jujitsu school, probably like 15 minutes from here in Florence, and I wanted to come check out what these guys are building, which is pretty amazing. Um, you know, we all understand the importance of health, but uh, the importance of locally sustainable you know, mediums through health is pretty fantastic. So this is the farm that Kat and Jay are building, which is pretty incredible. And my hope would be that eventually the entire school can just get their nutrients from these guys 10 minutes down the road. What you scoop in there? Compost. Compost? What are you doing with the compost? Uh, dressing the cucumbers. Dressing the cucumbers. Why would you do such a thing? Because they're naked. They're naked? Because <laughs> uh, our soil is really high in potassium. Barrier, yeah. We don't like weeds, do we? I've had an issue with those recently. All the time. So, by covering the soil with compost, we're giving us a little bit more time before the weeds. That's it. You're so smart. I'm doing it with the crops that are in the ground for a long time. Awesome. You find yourself alone in green fields with the sun on your face. Do not be afraid, for you are in Elysium, and you're already dead! <laughs> Brothers, sisters, what we do in life echoes in eternity.